Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be creating or recreating the Starfield intro inside of DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing we'll do is drag in our text plus node. Let's view this and let's start uh, typing in our text. So I'm going to type in Starfield. And then I'm going to change the font. Um, so uh, I'm going to be using a font called Barlow. If you don't have this font, then uh, you can also use Arial. I think that looks pretty similar as well. Uh, but since I have Barlow installed, I'm going to just uh, use this font. It's a free font. You can uh, just uh, find it on Google. Uh, and then I'm going to increase the tracking amount quite a bit. Something like that. And then I can also increase the size a little bit like so. Okay, great. So uh, in the star field uh, uh, example, they don't have uh, any line in the A letter over here. So we want to get rid of this uh, line over here. And in order to do that, we will add in a polygon mask to this. So just drag and drop it like so and connect it up to this text one. And now you can see our text is uh, vanished. And that's because of this polygon one over here. We have to draw in order to see our text. So what we can do is instead um, we to see our text, we can disable the polygon over here at the top over here. We can just disable it and now we can get our text back and now we can just simply draw our shape on this text. So just simply click and create your shape like so. And once you are done, then you can now enable the polygon one over here. So we are left with the shape over here. And all you have to do is click on the inward option so that we just crop out this area from the text over here. Right. So then we have to repeat this process for our um, T letter over here and the L letter over here. This will be replaced by that the circle animation. So let's just do that. So I'm going to add in a rectangle mask to this like so. And on this rectangle mask, I'm going to change the width. And I'm going to just place it right over here. Uh, right now, you can see nothing is really happening. And that is because we need to change the paint mode. It's set to merge by default. So we just we'll just change that to something else. So let's just uh, scroll. I'm using the down arrow key. So once you select your paint mode over here, I'm going to set this to merge. And then you can just simply hit the down arrow key on your keyboard to cycle through different modes over here. I'm going to set this to subtract. And then let's just zoom into this a little bit and just uh, change the center Y value. Hold the control key and just nudge it up a little bit like so, so that we can get rid of that area over here. Uh, then I'm going to copy this rectangle and hit control V to paste uh, another copy of it. And then I can just move it to this side over here and just change the position like so. And again, just zoom in and just be precise with this. Something like that. Uh, we can also, uh, if you want, you can also in, uh, disable the check underlay option so that you can see it more clearly. And I can see that there is some more area over here. So I can select my second rectangle over here and just mask it out properly. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. The next thing we'll do is we'll add in our circle uh, shape over here. So for that, we will need a background node like so. And just simply merge it up with this text one. This result in merge one. If you take a look at it, this is how it is going to look. So on the background one, we will change the color and set this to white. So I'm going to type one in all of these fields like so. And then we will add in an ellipse mask to this background like so. And on the ellipse one, we will uncheck solid and increase the border width. Something like that. And now what we want to do is we want to shrink the size the width and the height of this ellipse and we want to resize it in such a way that it covers both of our T letter and the L letter over here. So I think the um, we zoom in, you can see the border width is too much. So I'm going to reduce that to 0 0.010, hit enter. And then you can see that it's uh, like way uh, to the right of our T letter. I want the shape to be in the middle. So we have to increase the size over here but as soon as i do that you can notice that on the right side uh, our ellipse is not in the correct position it should be right over here on the l letter so again you have to play around with the uh, size 
like so and then change the position as well so just move it somewhere over here and just keep on increasing and changing the position of the shape so i'm going to keep it right over there and now what we can do is we can animate the length of our shape um, but as you can see that the position is right over here at this point so uh, we want to change the position i want the position to be under this t letter over here so let's just do that so maybe we'll start it somewhere over here and also i'm going to change the cap style i'm going to set this to flat so let's just change the position and bring it over here and yeah you can start animating it so let's go to the very first frame and set the length to zero create a keyframe on length and let's go to the last frame and just increase the length like so i'm going to keep on increasing it till it touches my shape over here the letter over here something like that i can see that it's still a little bit off so what we can do is we can again change the size a little bit on the width and the height and change the position as well all right i think that looks perfect uh, so if you take a look at the animation this is how it is going to look um so if you go to the last frame you can see that our uh, length or ellipse it touches this letter but in the original animation it doesn't touch the letter over here there is a gap in between the line animating and the letter over here so let's just do that to do that we have to add in a rectangle mask so let's just drag that in and i'm going to put it after the ellipse over here so just drag in a rectangle mask like so and just uh, create a small rectangle shape like so and just position it right under your letter over here and then we can change the paint mode and set that to subtract so you can see that now it just um, leaves us with this empty um, space that is exactly what we want so if you play the animation you can see at the end it's gonna do something like this uh, all right great so uh, we'll just go to the ellipse over here and go to spline and select length and let's make our animation smooth so i'm going to click on the icon that says zoom to fit i'm going to select this um, keyframe over here hit s on it and then hit the t key on it and just ease it into 100 and yeah i think that should be enough so if you see the animation in action this is how it's going to look i think that is a bit too much so let me just undo this i think i'm going to set this to around 50 so let's just type in 50 over there yeah i think that should be it so if you play the animation now you can see that at the beginning it will be the animation will be fast and then it should slow down at the end okay great so then what we can do is we can uh, just copy these three nodes and just paste them down below so we want the same animation to happen on the on the top side as well so we'll just connect these up this will result in merge tool so if you take a look at merge tool nothing will really happen you have to click on merge tool and then you have to click on this option that says vertical and now we have our line from the top as well and then we'll also click on this option that says horizontal now the position is not correct so we can just change the position like so simply zoom in and just change the um, center x and y values like so and and that should be it so if you take the animation now um you can see that it's it's exactly how we want it to be okay now after this you can add any picture of your choice so let's drag in this picture over here uh, this is the picture that i have over here i'm going to connect it up with this uh, merge tool this result in merge 3 so you can just drag it to the viewer now it's in the front so i'm going to hit ctrl t so that our text is in front so you can see that it's nicely aligned to the shape over here yeah but the final output you can see it's uh, not correct it's 2000 by some other value and that's because of this image so we can just simply add in a crop node to this and uh, on this crop node we will click on keep centered and this will be in a 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution yeah and then what we can do is we can go to the merge tree and um, animate the opacity so if you go to the settings over here and change the blend amount you can see that we are able to change 
the opacity of the text and the lines as well. So yeah, we can use this. So I'm going to go to the first frame, create an animation on blend. So let's set this to zero at uh, frame one. And I'm going to go to frame 60 and increase the blend to one. So if you take a look at the animations, it should look something like this. Go to the spline over here and click on Merge 3. Click on Blend. Uh, make sure the blend is selected. And I'm going to select the very first keyframe over here. Hit, hit S on it and make it smooth. So I'm just going to hold the Alt key and just drag it to the right over here and make it smooth. Something like that. Okay, cool. So uh, then uh, what you can do is you can, if you think the text is too big or too small, you can after the merge tool over here, you can add in a transform node. Click on add and you can control the size over here. You can change the position and make sure it aligns properly. Yeah, and then you can also after this merge tree, add another merge. Click on add, add another merge and you can now use this merge to control the opacity of the or the blend of your image over here. So let's connect the transform to this merge 4. And if you do this merge 4, this is um, it's going to be uh, remain the same. Nothing will change. Uh, but in the merge 4, if you go to settings and change the blend, you can see that we can actually change the um, opacity of our image. So we just have to right click on and click on swap inputs. And now you can control the blend of your image as well so i'm going to create an animation maybe right about at the 80th frame create a keyframe on blend and move forward to i guess frame 110 and set the blend to zero so now you'll have an animation a fade out animation basically and yeah that is pretty much it uh, make sure you turn on motion blur so if you go to your lips over here I think in these settings you can uh, turn on the motion blur here and that should really uh, make this animation look nice. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you can create this uh, cool Starfield intro animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. If you didn't, please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.